Hello, welcome to Crypto BP. Today we are going to install apps on Ledger Nano as and learn how to use them. But first, disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. I am quite biased and everything that I say in my videos are just my opinion. That being said, let's get to the video. Connect the Ledger Nano S to your computer using the USB cable. Enter your PIN. Though Ledger Nano S comes with Bitcoin and Ethereum apps pre-installed, I have removed them so that we can install them from scratch. Most of the apps that are used for Ledger Nano S are Google Chrome extensions. Hence, if you don't have Google Chrome installed on your computer, please do so. Open Google Chrome and go to ledgerwallet.com. Do not search for the apps on Google Chrome App Store. Instead, always install the apps from ledgerwallet.com website. Click on Apps. First, we have to install the apps on the computer which are used to interact with the Ledger Nano S device. Click on Ledger Manager. Click on Get the App and click Install. Click Add to Chrome and then click Add App. This Ledger Manager app is used to install the required apps on the device itself. Go back to the website and repeat the same process to install both Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and Altcoin app and Ethereum app. You can also install Ledger Wallet Ripple app. However, please note that this is not a Google Chrome extension. It's a desktop application. You will need to download the installation file, install it and access it from the app's location present on the computer. For this video, I am going to skip this step. Make sure that you bookmark the Chrome apps page so that it is easier for you to access this page whenever needed. Next, we need to install the apps on Ledger Nano S device itself. Make sure Ledger Nano S is connected to the computer and click on Ledger Manager app from Google Chrome extensions on the computer. This will show you all the cryptocurrency apps that can be installed on the device. First, let's install Bitcoin app. Click on the download arrow mark. First time when you install an app on the device, a confirmation is required so that the app can be installed on the device. You will see the message Allow Ledger Manager on your device. Press the right button on the device to install the app. This confirmation will be asked only for the first time and will not be asked unless and until you disconnect the device from your computer, restart it and try to install a new app on the device. Now the app will be installed on the device. Once the app is installed on the device, you will see the Bitcoin app on the device. Let's repeat this process and install Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin and NEO apps. Now let's check each of these apps. Please note that whenever you want to access any of these apps, you must enter inside the app on the device. For example, if you want to access your Bitcoin wallet, you will need to navigate to Bitcoin option and press both the buttons on the device to get into the app. On the computer, open Ledger Bitcoin Wallet app. Since there was a fork on the blockchain network, you will see both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash as the option when you start for the first time. I am going to select Bitcoin and then select SegWit because SegWit is the latest update for Bitcoin. Now the app will synchronize with the blockchain network and you will get the account window. Click on the receive button on the top to know the Bitcoin address. You can copy this address to the text editor and save it so that whenever someone wants to send some Bitcoin to you, you can always send this address to them. That way, you don't have to log in to Ledger Nano S just to know the address. In fact, you don't have to log in to the device at all for anything except to send some cryptocurrencies to someone. To check your balance, you can always use the respective blockchain explorer websites for each of these cryptocurrencies. For example, you can use blockchain.info for Bitcoin, etherscan.io or ethplorer.io for Ethereum and the ERC20 tokens new tracker.io for neo and so on now to send bitcoin to someone click on the send button on the top paste the bitcoin address on the address option to which you want to send bitcoin always check the transaction fees you will have multiple options such as high transaction standard low and custom options after choosing the transaction click send button each time when you send any cryptocurrency you will be asked to verify it on the ledger nano s device itself Press the right button on the device to sign and complete the transaction. These steps are almost similar to all the Ledger Wallet apps. Also remember for many of these cryptocurrencies you will have to use the same Bitcoin app on the computer. However, on the device you will need to be inside the respective app. For example, if you want to check Litecoin Wallet, 
you will need to be inside Litecoin wallet on the Ledger Nano S device. But on the computer, you will need to use the same Bitcoin app itself. You will know about this later in this video when we get to Litecoin section. Make sure to check which respective cryptocurrency app supports Ledger Nano S device and use that app to access them. Now to exit the app on the device, always navigate till you get the option quit app and press both the buttons at the same time to quit the app. Let's check out Bitcoin Cash. Press both the buttons on the device to get into the app. Open the Ledger Wallet or Bitcoin app on the computer. Click on Bitcoin Cash. If you don't know, Bitcoin Cash is a fork of Bitcoin. There are many instances where people have sent Bitcoin to Bitcoin Cash addresses and lost their Bitcoin. Hence, make sure that you know what you are doing if you are dealing with Bitcoin Cash. For this video, I am going to click on Split. This will give a different address from the one that I am using for Bitcoin. If you want, copy the address to a text editor for easy access. Let's check out Litecoin wallet now. Again, press both the buttons to get into the app on the device. Use the same Bitcoin app on the computer. Check out your Litecoin wallet. For Ethereum, apart from Ledger Ethereum Wallet app, there are many other online Ethereum wallet websites that support Ledger Nano S. To name a few, myetherwallet.com, etherdelta.com. I prefer to use myetherwallet.com particularly because I can check all the ERC20 tokens and also send any of these tokens using this website. However, to allow these websites to access Ledger Nano S, you will need to enable browser support on the device itself. To do so, on the Ledger Nano S, navigate to Ethereum, press both buttons, navigate to Settings, press both buttons, scroll down to Option, Browser Support, again press both buttons, scroll down to Option Yes and again press both buttons. Now scroll back and make sure that you are inside Ethereum app on the device. Now on the computer, open MyEtherWallet.com, click Send Ether and Tokens option, select Ledger Wallet. Click connect to ledger wallet. You will get a window where you will be displayed 5 different ether addresses. I think you can use any of these addresses but I always prefer the first one. Select one of the addresses and click unlock your wallet. This is your address. If you want to send ethereum to somebody, you can paste the address over here, enter the amount, select whether you want to send ethereum or any other erc20 tokens that you want and then click generate transaction. On the device you will be asked to confirm the transaction, press the right button and complete the transaction. I will create a detailed video on this section in the coming days. For NEO, the NEON wallet supports Ledger Nano S. On the device itself, get into NEO app, you will get a message, wake up NEO. Yes, this message is from the movie The Matrix. Now open NEON app on the computer. Click on the option login using a ledger. Then click Use Ledger Nano S. This will display the wallet's desktop where you can see your NEO address and also other details. To log out, click on the Off button present on the top right side of the window. On the device, to exit from NEO, press the left button. That's it for today. Hope this video helps you to use the apps on Ledger Nano S. If you have any questions, leave them on the comment section. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now. Have a great day. Bye-bye.